Hello, it's Alina from XM8 Mastery here, and today we are going to talk vertex roofs. So I have a member of our XM8 Mastery group here who is wondering, how do I sketch a roof that's similar to this? So this roof here, of course, is a bay style roof. Uh, you've got your bay window there, and everywhere there's a circle that is what's called a vertex. Okay, so there's many options on how to sketch a vertex roof in Xactimate. So I'm going to kind of cover a range of those topics related to what's called the vertex tool today. Also, there's a pre-built package that's a bay roof in Xactimate that I want to showcase as well. For now, let's go ahead and take a look at how to build these vertex roofs. To start off with, you want to be in an estimate and you want to be in the sketch main tab. So as you see in the top left corner of my screen, I've got sketch here and I've got a basic gable roof already sketched. It's 45 foot long and 35 foot wide for any of you who want to follow along with me on this. Now this again is an intermediate to advanced topic, so you may need to take notes on this. Actually, this is free on YouTube, so you can watch it as many times to your heart's content, but it is not something for the basic beginning user. You'll need to get your feet wet with basic roofs before moving on to the, what's called the vertex tool to create these vertexes. With that said, let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. I'm going to go to the vertex tool here at the top of my screen. It's right below the square break tool. And if you hover over the vertex tool, you'll see that it shows you add vertex with the V in parentheses. The V in parentheses is the shortcut for the vertex tool. So I always like to mention the shortcuts because that's how I sketch and they find them to be very useful. So I'm going to tap V on my keyboard for vertex and I'm going to left click once to place that vertex on the edge of the roof. See how that diamond came in here? Diamonds indicate angles or the tool that gives you the ability to create angles. So we've got a diamond set here. And I'm going to try to left click, hold, and drag downward. Now, as you notice, an Xactimate is not letting me do that. And this will happen to you when you first try to use this tool in Sketch. It's very frustrating. So what it's saying here is the roof span cannot be modified until at least one of the roof properties is unlocked. So all that means is I need to click back on my roof and take a look in my properties, which is the easiest place to do that. Take a look at my properties and look for a lock that is locked. So my roof span currently is locked. I'm going to left click once to unclick that lock. My locks all turn to green and everything looks good to go. Then I'm going to left click out in the blank space to close my properties and try this again. V for vertex, left click once to place it. Left click, hold and drag downward and now we've got that vertex going. However, did you notice that when I set that vertex and left click held and drag downward, it's going to move your ridge. So take a look at this, bam, ridge is now moved and may not be in the place where you want it to be. So that's where locks do become helpful. So what you can do is lock your rafter length or your run, which are these two measurements right here. I can lock those actually right out here in the sketch if you'd prefer to do that. I can left click on the lock, which opens up my dimension screen, and then left click again. Same thing with my run. I can left click right there, and then left click next to the dimension, and that will lock the lock as well. Now, if I set my square break, oh, lock, come on. There we go, now it's locked. Now if I set my vertex tool, left click, hold, and drag downwards, you'll see that the ridge did not move. It stayed in place. Again, that's due to locking the rafter length and the run right here. So that'll make a big difference on what your roof is going to end up looking like whenever you set this vertex tool. Now that we have the vertex tool set, I can continue to set the vertex over and over until I create whatever style of roof I'd like. So right now it's kind of a funky looking shape here. I can keep on adding vertexes until I get the shape that I want. So I'm looking for something more like this, where you've got these edges that are vertexed or angular, and then I've got a front that's straight across. Let's take a look at this in 3D. That's the shape I was looking for, looking really good. Now the vertex tool can be used in conjunction with the square break tool. So at the top of my screen, I've got the square break or B on my keyboard. I can left click, hold and drag along the front of this house that I've just created. And I can create a pop out here 
which I can now square break or vertex break, excuse me. I can now vertex break that to my heart's content and uh, make a really fancy looking roof here. Play around with these measurements and just dial this in and you can create some pretty spiffy looking roofs by using the vertex tool in conjunction with that square break tool. Now notice this is not what I showed you at the beginning of the video, correct? What we have at the beginning of the video is more of a turret style or a bay roof. There is a turret style roof in Xactimate, so if you absolutely have to use a turret style you can and you could draw that roof into the other roof and it will set just a partial turret. This is more of an advanced style roof. We're not going to get into how to dial all of that in today, but there is a turret roof available for you in your roof types. There is the turret style. The other thing that you have available to you is going to be your bay style roof. So I can scroll through my roof types here and now I've got this bay roof that I can place on the side of the home here. And if we look at that, that's a pre-built roof, right? You've got your hip edges here. You've got different slopes, whereas what we just created with the vertex tool was a singular slope. So you could take this roof here and vertex it if you want to create something even more fancy. You could really go to town on the dormer roof as well. So there's several different options for creating angular style roofs. So it just depends on the style of roof that you're trying to create. There's many different types of roof in Xactimate and they can get really super advanced. But that's pretty much the gist of using the vertex break tool in the program. Now the vertex tool works pretty much the same in a room. You can just build a room here like I did. Tap V on your keyboard and vertex break these rooms all day long to create whatever style of room that you would like to create. You can either vertex the vertexes, um, you can really get creative here. So you can make an eight-sided room if needed and then put that eight-sided roof on you can get really outrageous. So that's how to use the Vertex tool. If you have any further questions, be sure to post them down below. And I look forward to clearing up any confusion that you may have about the Vertex tool. This is Elena Wilson with XM8 Mastery. For more information on what we do, please visit our website at www.xm8mastery.com. And be sure to like this video if you like sketch topics like this so we can make more on the types of roofs that Xactimate has to offer and also the other tools that you can use in Xactimate. See you next week.